Man, I'm bored. Caillou and Classic Rosie is at school. My wife Doris went to get grocery and Classic Caillou is upstairs in his room. He got suspended for a week for peeing on the school restroom floor. And I grounded him. I'm bored like hell right now. So what should I do to entertain myself? There's only two people in this house. Classic Caillou and me. Ugh. Man, I can't think of anything fun to do. I think I should take those garbage bags outside and later find something to eat. Well, well, well. Garbage bags. And finding something to eat. Ha ha ha. I just got a bad idea. And it's time I mess with classic Caillou. Since he been messing with me my whole life. Seriously? Video games? I told you no video games allow. And you disobey me, right? I'm sorry, Dad. Do that again and I'll extend the amount of time you're grounded for. Now put those video games away and come with me outside. Why, Dad? Shut up! No questions. Why are we outside again? I was sitting all by myself in the living room and then I thought of you. Boring. That's boring, Dad. You know what? I think I should just go straight to the point. I think you should know why you're outside. Classic Caillou today are going to make you eat from a garbage bag. Ha, ha. Very funny, Dad. Can I go back inside now? You piece of <laughs> Do you think I'm messing with you? You're going to eat garbage from these bags whether you like it or not, and don't think about someone will come and save you, because there's no one here. Dad, please. You can't make me do that. I'm going to get sick. Do I look like I give a f You going to eat these garbages, or I'm going to beat your ass like a drum, till you peel off, so it's your call. Do it, or suffer. Okay, I'll do it. Do it now. Eat those garbages. I wanna see you eating every single one of it. Dad, please. This gonna kill me. Don't make me come over there, classic Caillou. Or your butt will be history. <laughs> Sometimes I think that you're not my real father. Think whatever you want. Just eat from the goddamn garbage bags. That's it. Eat every single one of it. <coughs> Dad, I think this is enough. You don't get to say it's enough. I do. Now shut your goddamn mouth and eat more garbage. <laughs> Go on. That's it. Keep going. Eat more garbage. What the hell? That's child abuse, and I'm not going to sit here and let him get away with it. I'm calling the police. Why did you stop? Continue. You know what, Dad? I had enough. I'm not eating another garbage. And there's nothing you will do about it. Try me and I'll knock your teeth out. Oh. So that's how you wanna play it? Yes. That's exactly how I wanna play it. Let's do it. I don't feel good, Dad. I think I'm going to pass out. What's happening to you? My heart is beating fast. No, 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 no. He's down. My son just passed out. Somebody help me. Somebody, anybody, help me. My son is dying. Put your hands up and step away from the kid, or I'll shoot you. Okay, my hands are up. No need to shoot. Boris, you are under arrest. But what about my son? He's just passed out. He's not moving. Please help him. The ambulance will be here any second. Your son will be fine. Now come with me to the car. I pray my boy be okay. I can't believe I did that to him. I forced him to eat from a garbage bag. I'm a horrible father. Yes, Boris you are. Worst father of the year 2023 goes to you.
son. I just want to say that I'm sorry for what happened the other time. I shouldn't have made you eat from a garbage bag. Are you really going to stand there and not say anything? Please say something classic Caillou. I hate you and I wish you were never my father. Screw you. Yeah. I deserve that. After all I put him through. I think I totally deserve that. I just got from the hospital. My dad made me eat from garbage bags in the last episode and he thinks I'm just going to let it go just like that? He should think again. Now, I'm so mad I feel like it's time for payback. And I know exactly what to do. Hey bro. Do you wanna play with me? No, Caillou I don't have time. Maybe another time bro. Come on bro. It won't take forever. Shut up! I said I don't have time. Now get the hell out of my room. Okay, okay. Where is dad's computer? It's not in here. I think I should check the next room. Dad got me to eat from a garbage bag. I passed out and was taken to the hospital. Now, this is my chance of getting back at him. What do we have here? What should I do to this computer that might get him really pissed off? Maybe I can go with option 1. And that is to break it. Option 2. Throw it in the swimming pool. Or maybe, I can go with option 3. That's to download a file that contain virus. That's it. I'm going to download a cracked GTA file on his computer from an illegal website. Doing it now. Ha ha ha. File download completed. I'm out of here. Ten minutes later. Time to check my emails. Wait a second. What is this notification? A 125 GB has been downloaded on your computer. This file has virus and your computer is at great risk. Oh, 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 oh. what the hell? I didn't get this GTA crack file onto my computer. And I have no idea what GTA is in the first place. Someone must have done this. And I'm going to find that person. But first I have to delete this file before something very bad happens to my computer. Now it's time to catch the who did this. So I'm going to hide somewhere in here. Then I'll see who they are. Dad must be really pissed right now. What the hell? Where's the file I downloaded? God damn it! He just deleted it. Now he left me with no choice but to go with option one. And that's to break his computer. This is payback time. So it was you. Come on. What took you so long to figure that out? So you are getting back at me because I made you eat garbage in the last episode? Yes, Dad. You got that correct. And now I'm going to break your computer. No! You will not do anything as such. Oh yes I will. And there's nothing you can do to stop me. Now watch. Whoa 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 no 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 Stop what you are doing. Stop! <laughs> Stupid! Do you have any idea of what you just done? Yeah. I think I do. I just broke your computer to pieces. And dad, now I forgive you. Shut up! I don't need your forgiveness after what you just did. You broke the computer that was given as a gift from your mother to me last Christmas. Yeah. You just got yourself into a bigger mess. Classic Caillou. You're grounded for breaking my computer. You're grounded for 45 days. Now stay in your room. Stupid! Stupid! Oh my god. There is no one else in here. I think this is my chance. Today, I'll be spraying the F word on these walls. Man I'm going to love this. Now where is my paint? Find it. Now it's time. Ten minutes later. Done. 
Man, take a look at this place. I did a good job here. Now the next place I'm going to spray paint will be the White House. <laughs> well, school is going to dismiss any minute from now. So I think I should get the hell out of here. Hi Tim. What are you doing outside class? Miss Green is currently teaching. What? Why are you acting weird? Tim. Why is there a spray paint on your hand? And why am I seeing the F word all over these walls? Huh. I don't know. Oh my god! It was you. You did this. You spray paint the F word in the corridor. And here I thought that I was the only bad kid in this school. Oh Tim. You're in a lot of trouble. Oh yes I did it. So what? So what? You're in a lot of trouble. And I'm going to tell the principal. Oh no you won't. Look. If you don't want to be on my bad side, you're going to shut your mouth about everything you see here. Not a word to anyone in this school. And if you dare tell anyone, you're going to wake up in a hospital. And you know what I mean. You can't scare me. You want to know why? Because I am not afraid of you. Shut up! Listen. I'm being dead serious. Tell anyone and you're dead. I'll find you and kick your sorry butt. Classic Caillou you don't want to make me your enemy. If I were you, I will shut my mouth for my own good. <laughs> so I think we're done here. Oh that's the dismiss bell. And remember Classic Caillou. I'll be watching you. Goodbye. What? Classic Caillou. What have you done? Wait what? No Miss Green. It's not what you think it is. I didn't do this. Silence. To the principal office now. So you're saying that you didn't write the F word in the school corridor? Yes. So tell me. Who did it? I really want to tell you. But if I snitch on this guy, he'll beat the hell out of me. This kid is dangerous and I don't want to be on his kick-ass list. Classic Caillou. As long as you're on this campus, you're safe. No harm will come to you. Yeah. What if he see me in the streets? Or I'm playing in my driveway and he sees me? Then what happened? Will you be there to protect me? No we can't. But you should just call 911. My butt will get kicked or I'll be even dead before the cops arrived. Like I said this kid is bad news. And I don't want him beating the shit out of me. People beating the shit out of me was last year. This year. I want to be the one doing the ass kicking and not the other way around. So, sorry principal, but I can't snitch on this guy. Okay and I won't force you. Well classic Caillou, you're suspended for a month. Just wait till your dad hear about this. You may leave my office. He will be back in 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. My name is Classic Caillou and not Jesus Christ. I'm not going to die for any one sin. It was Tim Robertson who spray painted the F word. Thank you. Works every time. Mr. Robertson, in my office now. You're suspended for one month plus seven days. Your dad will be here to get you. Man, I had to. It was either you get suspended or I do. I know. Wait what? So you're not angry? Of course I'm very much mad at you right now. But first, I just want you to do me a favor. Can you please call the ambulance? Wait. Are you hurt? No I am not but you're going to be when I'm done with you you piece of <laughs> I told you to keep your mouth shut. Why didn't you? Now I'm suspended and it's all your fault. Man I hate snitch. And you know what to say. Snitches get stitches. When I'm done with you, you will never snitch on anyone in your life again. Leave him alone. Oh Tim. You just got yourself into a bigger mess. Now you're suspended for two months. Someone call the ambulance. 
We need to take classic Caillou to the hospital now. Can't believe he did this to me all because I said the truth. But this isn't over yet. I'll get back at him even if it's the last thing I do. Good speech. But you are grounded. Wait, what? No, 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 no. No! How sure are you that you're going to get a better score in the exam? I'm not that 100% sure. But I know everything is going to be okay. Good. Kai, you come and get your exam papers. Okay. Everyone, I want you to give Caillou a hand of applause. This young man here scored the highest in the exam in most subjects, like math, history, geography, science, you know what, this guy scored the highest in the exam. Give him a hand of applause again. Congrats bro. Thanks. You know, I just have this thing inside me, telling me that next exam, you're going to ace it. I just know it. Finger crossed. Excuse me for a second. Man I'm so happy and I can't wait to tell my parents. Yes 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 yes. I did it. Classic Caillou come up front. Yes Miss Green. What do you have for me? Classic Caillou, you need to put in more time to your lesson. You should focus more and please try to do better next time. I don't like the sound of that. Miss Green, what is my score? Did I do well this exam? No Classic Caillou. You failed all of your exam. I mean every single one of it. Yeah I was surprised when I first saw the result. Let this not discourage you. You can still do better next time Classic Caillou. Man I'm so screwed. If dad gets to hear about this, I will be D-O-N-E, screwed. Can I have my papers? Sure. Seriously? I failed all of my exams. What the hell is wrong with me? This is all my fault. I'm so stupid. Man, I'm so mad at myself right now. Classic Caillou. Would you please keep your voice down? This is a classroom, and you are disturbing. Sorry, Miss Green. Good. Now Samuel Jackson, come and get your papers. Let's have a look at these papers. So help me God. If Dad see this, I will be D-O-N-E. What's that in your hands? Is it your papers? Can I have a look? What's your score? Shut up! I'm sorry Caillou. I didn't mean to snap. It's just like I am not in a good mood right now. Okay, I get it. I can't show mom and dad these exams paper. If they see this horrible test result, I will be grounded for the rest of my life. Think, 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 think of something classic, Caillou. Yes! Ha ha ha. I know exactly what to do. I'm going to hide my exam pa- How many times have I told you to knock before walking into my room? Come on chill. I think I heard you saying that you were about to hide something. What is it? It's none of your business. Try and not stick your nose into places or things that doesn't concern you. I can see someone is giving me attitude. Look, I'm not just in a good mood today. So, can you please leave my room? Okay, I'll give you some space. Okay, let's do this. Time I hide these exam papers. Done. Now my parents will never find out about my exams papers and everything will be fine. Yes, 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 yes. Wait a minute. What if Caillou shows his papers to mom and dad and later they request for mine? I need to stop Caillou ASAP. So, what do you think dad? Son, I just view all your exam papers. 
and I'm speechless. You ace all of your exam. And for that I'm proud. Thank you very much. Thanks, Dad. Wait in the living room. I'll meet you there soon. We are going to the ice cream shop. To the ice cream shop? Yes, 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 yes. I can't wait. Classic Caillou have something to tell you. And I have a question to ask. Where are your exam papers? Don't you wanna hear what I have to say? I don't care! Just tell me where are your goddamn papers at. Okay, okay. Stop screaming at me. Dad has my exam papers. No, 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 no. No! Now I have nothing to save my butt from getting grounded. You're so stupid. Why the hell did you hand over your papers to Dad? You know what, that's enough. I had enough of your stupid talk. I hand over my papers to Dad, because it was the right thing to do. He's my dad and it is his right to know my performance in school. Stupid! No 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 on no 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 on! Son, where is your exam papers? Kai you just handed his to me, but I don't know what is taking you forever. Oh dad. Uh huh, ugh, I didn't get mine. Wait, you didn't get yours? Yeah, it fell down and I lost it. I mean someone stole it. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on a second. What exactly are you saying? When I asked you, you first said it wasn't handed over to you. But now, you're telling me that it fell off your backpack, and then you said it got stolen. Exactly. Look, don't play games with me, little man. Why would someone want to steal your exam papers? I know there's something fishes going on here. You don't have to say it, cause I can smell it. What are you talking about, Dad? I know there's only one reason you would want to hide your exam papers. Maybe you failed really bad in them. And I know that you have your exam papers in this room. Now step out. Wait, what? You heard me. I said step out of this room. I'm going to tear this room outside down, and find your papers, and pray I don't see them, because if I do and see that you fail most of them, you won't like what I might do to you. Dad. You won't see any papers in here. They got stolen. I said get out. Ice cream. Ice cream. Ice. Ice cream. Ice cream. Ice. Ice cream. Ice cream. Yeah! Well, I can clearly see that you don't look good. You're not having a great day for sure. What's going on? I lied about getting a perfect score in my exams. The truth here is I failed every single one of them. I hid the papers in my room. And let me guess, now he's in your room tearing the place apart to find it. And if he does, I'm done. Come and have a seat. We can only hope that he doesn't find it. But if he does, I think you should buy a plane ticket and leave this country. Because even the government of this nation won't be able to save you from dad. Five minutes later. I found it. What do you have to say for yourself? Dad, I'm sorry. I was just about to show it to you. Don't tell me that. I found this under your bed. And from the way I look at things, it doesn't seem like you were about to show them to me, but rather hide it so that I could never see it. You are right, Dad. I never wanted you to see it. I failed every single one of my exam and I felt ashamed of myself and hiding my papers was the only thing I could think about. I'm sorry. I can see that you're truly sorry, and I'm going to forgive you, but, you're grounded for failing your exam, and also hiding your papers. You're grounded for 2,342 days. Now go to your room. So, Classic Caillou, how have you been feeling? Well, Doc, I've been feeling, let's say musically inclined. Musically inclined? Yeah, you know, like my stomach's been composing symphonies. Or should I say, fart symphonies. <laughs> I see. Any particular reason for this musical performance? Oh, 
just trying to lighten the mood in here. It's a bit too sterile for my taste. Well, we appreciate the effort, Classic Caillou. But let's focus on your checkup for now. But Doc, wouldn't it be more fun if we turned this into a karaoke session? I could provide the vocals. <laughs> as tempting as that sounds, I think we'll stick to the examination for now. Open wide and say ah. Ah. <laughs> What's so funny, Doc? Well, I must say, that's the most melodious ah I've heard all day. Thank you, Doc. I've been practicing. <coughs> Fifteen minutes later. Everything seems to be in order. Just a few more tests to go. This is it, the grand finale. Man, my stomach don't feel so good. Now, I need you to take deep breaths for me. As deep as the depths of a cheese factory, doctor. Let's hope it's not that pungent. Well, you know what they say, doc. The nose knows. Indeed. Now, deep breaths, please. How was that? Was that good enough? I think I just blew away all the cobwebs in there. Well, let's hope there aren't any spiders hiding in the corners. <laughs> Spiders? In a doctor's office? That would be a nightmare. No! No! Classic Caillou, this behavior is completely unacceptable. I'm sorry, Doc. I couldn't help it. I understand that bodily functions happen, but this continuous disruption is disrespectful to me and to the other patients in this office. I didn't mean to cause any trouble. I'm afraid I can't continue with this appointment. You need to leave my office immediately, and I'll be contacting your parents about your behavior. Oh no. Please, Doc, don't tell my parents. I'm sorry, Classic Caillou, but this is necessary. Now, please go home. Oh, my, God. This is not going to end up good for me. This is Dr. Alvin calling from the medical center. Is everything okay, doctor? I'm afraid I have some concerning news about your son, Classic Caillou. What happened? Is he okay? He's physically fine, but his behavior during his appointment today was unacceptable. He was disruptive and disrespectful, and I had to ask him to leave the office. For Christ's sake, your son farted in my goddamn office. I'm sorry to hear that, doctor. I'll have a serious talk with him when he gets home. I appreciate that, Boris. It's important for him to understand the consequences of his actions. Thank you for letting me know, Doctor. I'll make sure this doesn't happen again. Good. I think we are done here. Goodbye. God damn it! Unbelievable. I can't believe Classic Caillou would behave like that. Disrupting a doctor's office? What was he thinking? Who does that? He needs to learn some respect, and fast. This behavior is completely unacceptable. I won't tolerate it. Man, I don't like that look. What? You mean this look? Classic Caillou. We need to talk. Dad, Mom, I can explain. We've already heard from Dr. Alvin, Classic Caillou. He told us about your behavior at the office today. Yes, Classic Caillou. We know everything you did. I'm sorry, Mom, Dad. I didn't mean to cause any trouble. Do you understand how serious this is, Classic Caillou? Disrupting a doctor's office is unacceptable. I know, Dad. I feel terrible about it. We're disappointed in you, Classic Caillou. What is your problem? You always do things like this. First on the dinner table, then the doctor office. What next? I promise I'll do better, Mom. 
I'll never behave like that again. Oh yes. This should not repeat itself again classic Caillou. And you need to learn from this and make things right. I will, Dad. I promise. Classic Caillou, as a consequence of your actions today, you are grounded. For how long, Dad? You are grounded for 23 days. During this time, you will not be allowed to leave the house except for school and essential activities. You will also lose privileges like TV, video games, and going out with friends. But Dad, that's not fair. Even the word fair, isn't fair to itself. Classic Caillou, this is the consequence of your behavior, and you need to learn that actions have consequences. Now, go to your room. <laughs> <laughs> Classic Caleb lounges on the couch, looking pale and miserable. His parents, Boris and Doris, exchange worried glances. Classic Caillou, you look terrible. Are you feeling alright? You don't usually look this pale. I'm okay, Dad. Just a little under the weather. Maybe I stayed up too late playing video games. Plus, I think I ate too much candy yesterday. Let me feel your forehead. Classic Kalu nods and lets his mom check his temperature. You're burning up, sweetie. We need to get you to bed right away. Let's go, Classic Caillou. I'll tuck you in and bring you some water. Do I have to? I hate being cooped up in bed. It's for your own good, Classic Caillou. You need to rest to get better. Come on, champ. We'll make your bed extra cozy. But what about my toys? I don't want Caillou messing with them. Don't worry, classic Caillou. We'll make sure Caillou stays out of your stuff. I still want to watch my favorite show before bed. Alright, classic Caillou. But only one episode. Then it's lights out. And I'll bring you your favorite blanket to keep you cozy. Thanks, Mom and Dad. You're the best. Anytime, buddy. Just focus on getting better. We'll make sure you're feeling like your old self in no time. Okay, I'll try. That's the spirit, Classic Caillou. Classic Caillou lies in bed, surrounded by tissues and cough syrup bottles. His younger brother and sister, Classic Rosie, peek in with concern. Classic Caillou, are you going to be okay? You don't look so good. I'll be fine, Rosie. Just need some rest. And maybe some of that chicken soup mom makes. Can I have your video games if you don't make it? <laughs> I'm not dying, Caillou. And no, you can't have my video games. Can I keep your comic books then? You're not getting anything, Caillou. Don't worry, classic Caillou. I'll keep you company while you're stuck in bed. You'll feel better soon, and we can play together. I hope so, Rosie. I don't like being sick. Why do you get sick, Classic Caillou? Is it because you don't wash your hands? I wash my hands. Sometimes. Maybe you should wash them more often, Classic Caillou. I'll wash my hands every time now, so I don't get sick like Classic Caillou. That's a good idea, Caillou. Thanks. We'll take turns bringing you toys to play with. You won't be bored. The family gathers around the couch, looking haggard and miserable. I can't believe we're all sick now. This is just great. We should have listened to the doctor and gotten flu shots. I told you guys I didn't need to go to the doctor. I'm fine. And look where that got us. Thanks a lot, Classic Caillou. You were such a big baby. Classic Caillou. Now we're all sick because of you. But if Classic Caillou didn't get sick, then we wouldn't have all caught it, right? Well, when you put it that way. Alright, let's not start pointing fingers. We're all in this together now. Yes, let's focus on getting better instead of blaming each other. I'm sorry, everyone. I should have listened to you. It's okay, Classic Caillou. Just promise you'll listen next time. And maybe we can have a movie night when we're all better. That sounds like a great idea, Caillou. Alright, it's settled then. 
Let's focus on getting better so we can enjoy our movie night. Yeah, classic Hayu. No more double dipping. And this time, no more sharing drinks or snacks. We'll each have our own. Got it. No more double dipping. <coughs> we need to have a serious talk. Classic Caillou. What about, Dad? About your refusing to listen to us and go to the doctor. Do you realize the danger you put us in? I guess I didn't think it would be that big of a deal. That's the problem. Classic Caillou. You never think. You're such a big baby. Classic Caillou. Now we're all sick because of you. And I still want your video games. You know, just in case you don't make it. Oh, 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 oh. For the last time, Caillou, I'm not dying. <laughs> all right, all right. Let's not gang up on Caillou. We all share a bit of the blame here. That's true. We could have been more insistent about seeing the doctor. <coughs> yeah, but then we wouldn't have this bonding time together as a sick family. Can we have a sick day every week? It's fun. I think once is enough, Caillou. <coughs> All right, let's focus on getting better now. And classic Caillou, next time, please listen to us when we say it's important. Yes, classic Caillou. Your health affects all of us. Let's not forget that. I promise, Dad. Next time, I'll listen. It's because of your stubbornness we're all sick. I really want to ground you right now. But I won't. You know why? Because you're sick and you need medical attention first. But you're not off the hook, classic Caillou. Okay, Dad. The family shares a moment of understanding, mixed with a hint of amusement at their current predicament. All right. Let's lighten the mood. Who's up for a game of charades later? That sounds like fun. It'll distract us from our stuffy noses. <coughs> Thanks for watching. Please make sure to like this video to help the channel out. Subscribe and turn on notifications. Have a nice day and I'll see you in the next video.